Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my tutorial park. Now, uh, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you um, something which is probably the most requested topic to do a tutorial on, and that's the Beep Editor plugin. Now, um, it says Beep Editor Beta here, and that's uh, because this is actually a beta version of the Beep Editor plugin. Uh, it's actually not found on the OpenRC2 plugins website. So first I will show you where you can find this plugin. Okay, yeah, to find this plugin, you'll have to go to the GitHub page of Mentecore007. Uh, I will leave a link to this plugin in the video description. Anyway, when you are on this page, over here you will find the JavaScript file, beepeditorbeta.js. Uh, simply put that in the openrc2.plugins plugins folder. And then next time you start up the game, you should be able to find this uh, plugin in the plugin menu. So over here in the plugin menu, you can now see uh, the beep editor beta. Now, um, when you open the beep editor, uh, you're greeted with this screen. And with this picker icon, you can either select a guest or a staff member. So um, yeah, we have these uh, guests here and one of them is waving, the other ones are just standing around. And I want these guests to be uh, waving uh, at, the, at the guests as they pass by. Now uh, over here you can see this staff member is already frozen, uh, with, you have these uh, traffic light icons here. If it's red, the uh, staff member is simply frozen in place. Now normally you cannot get a staff member to have this costume of, uh, of a guest, but over here in this window uh, you can select uh, that it has no costume. So here it, here's the other entertainer costumes, but here I've selected no costume, so that's why it shows the guest costume. And then here you can also select the color of the costume. So in this case, it's bright green. Now, right now it's in the walking animation, but for example, I can put it in the waving animation here, and then you can select the frame that you want the staff member to have in that animation. So as I uh, go through these animation frames, you can see the guest now waving, or the staff member now waving. Now, um, this is how the old Beep Editor uh, plugin uh, also used to work. It could also do this, but this plugin can do a little bit more. It can actually also freeze guests in or staff members in an animation. So as you can see, I now put it to this uh, um, yellow traffic light symbol, and this guest is now just stuck in its waving animation. So that uh, definitely uh, brings a bit more life to your uh, staff scenes. So uh, I will quickly do the same for these other two staff members. So over here, this one is in, looks like it's in walking animation. Over here I can simply set him to waving. Now uh, for this staff member, I will do the same. Uh, he's already in the waving animation. But now this guy actually stops after doing the animation once. Um, yeah, sometimes uh, the staff members uh, you do this to just stop after one animation um, what i found that helps is just uh, quickly put use the green button to um, make them resume what they, whatever they were doing and then immediately press the yellow button again and you can see now he's actually stuck in an animation so let's put in the waving animation and now he's also waving however he's now rotated that's not what we want so on this second screen here, you can actually rotate uh, your staff members or guests around. And then with these buttons, you can uh, you can move them to the position where you want them to be. So with X and Y, you can move them around uh, in the horizontal direction. And with the Z position, you can actually raise them up if you, if you want. All right, um, here we also have some uh, um, entertainers frozen in this shop. Uh, I will quickly also put them in an animation. Now, um, these entertainers actually have, uh, yeah, also have jumping joyfully here as an animation and waving. Um, well, yeah, this entertainer will not actually jump around joyfully. Um, I think these two animations are the same for this entertainer who jumping joyfully and waving. It will just uh, wave his uh, hat around. As I go through these frames now, you can see him. Uh, Hold up his head to the guest, showing his uh, bald um, face. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, freeze them in the waving animation, see if it works. Yeah, 
Looks like this one got stuck in the animation. And I will do the same for this guy. No, oh, he's still in walking. Let's make him do this animation. All right. Okay, uh, staff members are not the only peeps you can freeze with this plugin. Uh, we could also do the same to uh, guests. So uh, here we have this uh, entertainer in the fountain, uh, swimming, definitely not drowning. Uh, he's also frozen in an animation. And what I think would be really funny is if there's a guest looking at him with the animation that plays when a guest normally sees a ride that's too exciting or too intense. So uh, here in the peep editor, I will just uh, select uh, a guest. Let's uh, select this one. And I will freeze him in an animation. I will move him right in front of the fountain here. All right. He's now in front of the fountain. I will make him face the fountain. All right. Now you can see the guest here. I will move him a little bit away so we get a clearer look at its animation. And then over here in this list, uh, we can select a different animation if we want. So, um, where's the eye popping? <laughs> okay, the guest is now uh, uh, looking at this uh, entertainer who is swimming in the fountain. And he kept, keeps popping his eyes. I believe we can also uh, set the energy lower to make the guest move slower. It doesn't actually look like this has an influence on the animation. So uh, I guess they just make the guest walk slower. Yeah, yeah animation still does keep running at the same speed. Anyway, uh, this immediately brings me to another window for this plugin. Here you can set different attributes for the guest. So you can make the energy, the guest more tired, uh, more hungry, thirsty, uh, etc. And you can even increase the weight for the guests if you want. Now, um, we can also set uh, uh, the shirt color for the guest. So we can set it to brown if we want. You can also change the pant colors. Uh, you can even make them invisible if you want. So now the guest has an invisible shirt and an invisible, uh, invisible pants. So we put some clothes on him again. And uh, this guest also has an umbrella, uh, but you cannot see it because it's not raining. And uh, you can also recolor it if you want. Now, there's also several other flags we can set for a guest. So if I select this guest here and we go to this screen, uh, here you can see all the guest flags. So for example, if we set leave park, then uh, if we select the guest, you can see the guest is now leaving the park. Now, uh, if we disable the flag, uh, he will just uh, refer to the walking state. Now, there's uh, several more flags that we can set. Uh, we can also set photo. I believe this is normally what happens if you change the guest name to Chris Sawyer. And he will keep taking uh, pictures of uh, of rides. Oh, um, we, ah, there we could see uh, the guest taking some photos. Now, there's uh, several more of these actions that normally only get set when you uh, give the guest a cheat name. For example, painting, then uh, the guest will uh, start painting stuff. I believe this is normally what happens when you name a guest Simon Foster. Well, there's several more of these uh, things that you can uh, set for the guest. Uh, you could choose to just uh, try them out. And uh, here's also an explode flag that only uh, works on guests that are walking around. It doesn't work on guests who are queuing. And that eventually will make the guest explode. Okay, then here's a window which shows what the guest is holding. You can also remove these objects uh, if you want. And you can also uh, add a different item uh, to the guest if you want. For example, I want the guest to hold some pizza. Now I gave the guest some pizza. It looks like he uh, immediately turned it into rubbish. <laughs> okay, and uh, if you're not sure what version of the plugin you have, you can find more information here on the final screen. Okay, uh, you can also select all the guests with this plugin. Yeah, you can do that with this button here. It selects all guests on the map. And then uh, you cannot change the position of all the guests. But you can freeze all guests in place if you want. Or uh, have them stuck in their animation. I'll just let them roam around again. Yeah, you can change the shirt color of all guests if you want. Or you can change the... Uh, color of their pants. Uh, you can also change the color of stuff they're holding. 
And you can even put all guests in an animation if you want. So, for example, now uh, all the guests will be eye popping. Well, uh, they will resume this animation uh, until they would uh, do a different action again. Like, for example, like sitting or looking at their map. And after they've done that, they will revert back to the animation which they were in. But yeah, this <laughs> this still is uh, still looks pretty funny. And once again, you can also set uh, all flags or all guests if you want. So if I do like this, now all guests will explode. I will disable it before uh, I run out of guests in the park. But yeah, there's uh, quite a few things you can do here. Um, well, all guests are selected, and some of these are uh, disabled. But yeah, um, this is a beta version of the plugin. Um, we have no idea when the full version will be released. Uh, the creator of this plugin also has no idea when the uh, full version will be released. Um, at least that's what it said, says on this GitHub page. There's no predetermined date. So yeah, every now and then some functionality uh, gets added. So uh, I recommend uh, checking out this GitHub every now and then to see if a new version of the plugin has been released. But yeah, I think this is a really nice plugin. Uh, I used it a lot also in this park to uh, create all the different uh, beep scenes that you see in uh, different spots in the park. All right, as per usual, uh, I will add another one of my patrons to the park as an entertainer. And it will immediately show you a fun trick that you can do with this plugin. So uh, I will just put a path here. I will place an entertainer on it. And let's see, for the costume, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. I will just uh, put a pirate. And then we select the peep editor plugin. We select this pirate. And I'm going to put him in the hanging animation. Now he's still walking around, so I will uh, freeze him in this animation. And then we will simply um, raise his Z position. Now we'll have to try and make it look like uh, he's hanging here. I think this works. Now he looks connected to the track from all angles. And yeah, it's as simple as that. Now we have a little pirate uh, hanging from the track here. And uh, yeah, you can do this uh, in many places. Uh, we actually have a few um, hanging entertainers already uh, in the park. So I'm just gonna delete this path and then we're gonna name the entertainer. All right, Salazar Biggins, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, the support is really appreciated and I hope you enjoy your little spot here in the park. I think it's a pretty funny one. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope it's useful for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial or if you learned something, uh, please like this video. It would really help out my channel. And I would love to hear in the comments what you think of this tutorial. And if you want to see more videos like these, you can always subscribe. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.